Hi there, today we're gonna to talk about drying peppers. How do you go from a garden fresh pepper like this one to a dried pepper that you can preserve for about a year, like this, at home? Uh, we're gonna be doing the oven method today and talk very briefly about the other methods towards the end of the video. But for the oven drying method, you're just going to need a wet, for the oven drying method, you're just going to need a mesh a screen like this for pizza or a cooling rack or even just a regular cookie sheet uh, and a little bit of patience. So uh, let's get started. First, collect from your garden um, any fresh peppers you have or you can buy them from the store. We're going to arrange these on cookie sheets or cooling racks and put them in an incredibly low temperature oven. The temperature you're trying to go for is between 140 to 180 degrees. The most complicated part is getting your oven that low. And most of them um, kind of do a 170 as a minimum for baking. Another option you can try is the keep warm function. It tends to go slightly below 170. It usually starts right around 150, but it varies and sometimes can go up to um, 180, just in fluctuation of temperatures. And drying at these lowest temperatures can take 48 hours up to five days. So it really varies on the pepper. The larger peppers like bell peppers take the longest. Um, and the first stage you will see is kind of a shrivelly um, but still not dry fully. You also don't want them to be overlapping or touching each other. After 48 hours they start to look like this and you'll have to start checking individual peppers and pulling out the ones that you think are dry. This process takes a lot of patience and different areas of the oven are dry at different times. It's really there's no way to know how fast or slow it's going to be. None of these ones are done yet. There's a lot of moisture left in the larger ones. And the small ones will look better, but there's still softness there when you press them. Now we're on day three, and things are starting to look a lot better. Um, the big one, of course, is still not dry, but some of the little ones are getting there. Eventually I got impatient and put the oven up to the around 90 to 200 degrees for a little bit. Putting it cool and then tapping on them to see if they make a crunching noise. That's how I do it. Every time. Remove the ones that are done and you can store them in a glass jar. You like to leave the lid off that jar for another two days just to be safe. As always, thank you for watching and don't forget to like, comment, or subscribe. See you in the next one.